what can you say about the season so far? We are 0-4. We have had some really close games. They've been devastating losses. We'll go ahead and show the schedule here, of course, if you guys recall at the end of, let's see, what game was it? Week three, we disconnected, black screened at overtime. So it says played twice as we went back into it. Ended up losing the game in overtime anyway in gut-wrenching fashion. We've lost by a possession three out of four games and lost only by 10 to the Falcons. We don't know who our starting quarterback is. Paul Garrison's played really well. I think Alex Soto at times has played really well. We're still kind of going with that rotation where Paul Garrison's playing the first half, and if things don't go particularly well, we see what Alex Soto can do. But we need that first win. There's no way around it. We're starting out 0-4. It cannot get to 0-5. And the Cowboys are really good. The Cowboys are really good. We have a breakout player challenge. We got Dorian Tompkins to star dev. If you didn't watch the last episode, first of all, come on, what are you doing? But second of all, we had a normal development draft pick. We had two, actually, out of our top 45 picks. We had two. Dorian Tompkins had normal development, but guess what? He is now up to star dev. He is an 81 overall, and he got 20,000 XP to get him there. On offense, the only other guy was Rashad Reese, but I'm not sure if he's ever going to go up to star dev. He's been big as a receiver, but of course he's still listed at running back for now and slot receiver as well. We're getting him involved. We're doing what we can. He's a big time playmaker. I'd rather have him there than Quintess Cephas or Amon Ross St. Brown. We just haven't run a lot of four wide receiver sets. Anyway, we have a breakout challenge and that is for Deshaun Hand. Oh, okay. Deshaun Hand. If we hold the Cowboys to less than 75 yards rushing and one rushing touchdown, or Deshaun Hand getting two interceptions, four fumbles, tackles for loss, and sacks, we would get him up to superstar development. Which I think could be quite significant. We're not close to knowing Paul Garrison's dev trait yet. We are, however, on the defensive side of the ball. Close to knowing Russ Clemens, probably two games away. And Derek Davidson, probably one and a half games away, so two games away. But Deshaun Hand getting superstar dev could be huge. He's had some really big games, and he's really like not amazing. 26, if he gets up to superstar dev, who knows what his future could be with the team. That could be really good. We do have 42 staff points. Let me go ahead and look to spend those now. Let's go ahead and go into franchise staff here. And then I want the one where we can have multiple offensive players or multiple players be in the training area. Is that down in here? Yeah, it is. So we got to mow through all of this to get to after school tutoring. So what do we want to do first here? Offensive coordinator or defensive coordinator talents? I want to do, I think, defensive coordinator talents. So can we just can we just go down the line here, or do you have to go systematically? Ooh, we can. So we can't quite afford that yet. Maybe we have to do all that before we can unlock it. All right, we have 12, 12 staff points remaining. Um, so you know what? Let's just go ahead and... Do we, I don't know if we need all of them. I'm going to hold on for just now, for right now. College players to scout. We looked at the corners, and there are some good ones. I want to go back to the linebackers. Matt Dupree. Matt Dupree looks all right. Mid-first-round guy, 6'1", 244 out of Michigan State. Braxton Turner looks pretty good as well, late-first-round guy. And then Josh Thomas. Not really a whole lot going on there. Junior Cole. Not really a whole lot going on. Wow, this is not a great group. What about outside linebackers? Joel Applewhite out of Mizzou. B-plus finesse moves is not bad. Let's look at right outside linebacker. Andrew Blaylock looks okay. Tim Ware looks not okay. Someone check on that boy. 
But this is a big game, man. We are not out of the playoff hunt yet. Because we know this team's capable of making a run. Actually, I guess we don't know that. But I hope that they are. <laughs> I hope that they're capable of making a run. We were so close to winning so many different games now. We just haven't managed to do it. So hopefully at some point, and maybe that's today, we end up getting a win. Still have Derek Davidson, Russ Clemens, and Paul Garrison getting the focus and our weekly game plan goal, if I could get over there, please. I don't think we're going to have that many rushing touchdowns. Five plus seems like a lot. I think 350 yards passing is usually a good one. I think we're just going to accomplish that naturally. We seem to throw the ball quite a lot. Our rankings in terms of scoring are not good. The yards aren't too bad. And what that tells me is we just got to convert on our opportunities. We aren't doing that. We're getting close and just not doing it. Turnovers, not getting a first down when we need to. You know, going half pads, get some XP back. Didn't see any injuries there on the offense and the defense. High ankle sprain for Anthony Walker Jr. That's really bad. That could be a couple weeks. That could be a couple weeks for Anthony Walker. And that's our starting middle linebacker. Alex Anzalone's out. For two more weeks. Walker's going to be out for another week. So it's going to be Jelani Tavai. We got to make a change. It's going to be Jelani Tavai. And I don't even know. We don't really have a backup middle linebacker. Derek Barnes. That's not his role. Here's what we're going to have to do. Will Harris will be playing a lot. Because with the specialist... I can tell you right now, Tracy Walker is not going to be the sub linebacker. It's going to be Derek Davidson, the rookie out of Florida State. We're going to give him a shot there. Derek Davidson, 74 overall sub linebacker, by the way. 91 speed. Should be a fun user if I want to go down that route. This probably not going to be an easy game. We are at AT&T. Facing Dak Prescott, one of the better quarterbacks in the league. Facing Zeke, who's going to be pretty unbelievable in the game. And of course, a player even better than Zeke and Tony Pollard. He's returning that kick. I'm confused by Derek Barnes. If it's my sub linebacker, why is Derek Barnes playing at that spot? Anyway, I'm fine with him getting more playing time. He was really, really good off the edge. And that's a pretty nice tackle on Zeke there. Was it week one or week two? Where Derek Barnes had like a huge breakout game. Derek Davidson now. In at linebacker. And he's falling down. That's a bad start for him. Oh, nice tackle, Derek Davidson. Just taking out the legs of Zeke Elliott. Derek Davidson is my favorite player on the team. I can't lie to you about it. It's obvious. Love Derek Davidson. Screen, sick throw, Dak, incomplete. All right, I said I'm not going to call this play again, so we're not. It was quick pitch. We averaged, like, no yards per carry on us. We're going to go to a nice little zone week there and just uh, run over the bowled over defender. Let's get Paul Garrison going. Second and six. A little check down. Chris Godwin close to the first down marker. I want to say he got it. It is first and ten. Never call any trap plays. Let's go with it. DeAndre Swift. Okay, that, that could have been better. Second down and seven. I've done that so many times. It's going to be intercepted. Oh, man. I'm, I'm just staring at one receiver the entire time. It was R1, which was Rashad Reese. And I, I think I dropped back. I mean, under pressure, I didn't know what his button was. And I just lobbed it up with R1. And, uh, of course, Rashad Reese is kind of far down the field at that point. We had pressure, and it was just ducked up in the air. Yeah, I mean, we had decent time, just, uh, it wasn't crazy amount of time, don't get me wrong. Not like every time our opponent has to throw, but that's still a little rough, a little rough. We can't turn over the ball like that. Paul Garrison will stay in the game. Third and five. Derek Davidson in at Mike is actually pretty sick. It's a screen. Make a play. 
Jeff Okuda just got stiff armed to hell. Big run by Zeke there. I abandoned my run fit. It's just not good when that happens. I have a safety in at linebacker because of injuries. It isn't ideal. Maybe Derek Barnes would be better in that role. But, you know, let's play action. Please get after him. We have so many guys getting after Dak. That's lobbed up into the air. Nearly caught. Somebody has to make an interception on that. Somebody has to make a play on the ball. Disgusting that it just floats up in the air and they have no consequences. But, you know, obviously when that happens to me. Touchdown. All right. Whew. I don't know how we didn't make a tackle on that when I'm pressing the freaking X button. Swift up the middle. There we go, DeAndre. Three rushes for 17 yards after that big one. Gonna look to lean on him. We just have to score more on offense. That's what it is. We gotta score more. I feel like the defenses we played have played really well this year. Like, DBs are covering extremely well. Linebackers are covering extremely well. It is, in at least for me on all Madden, extremely tough to move the ball this year for some reason. I found it easier last year. Now I got to roll out and throw away. Uh, pressure was coming in from the left side. They rush four and just, they get in there so quick, man. Third and 10. We get that in there. Hawkinson, he actually caught it. Thank you. They're blitzing. Oh my goodness. It's going to be intentional grounding. I don't know what else to do there. It was either going to be a sack or intentional grounding or an interception. When they get in the backfield so quickly, I actually have no idea what to do. I'm really not sure there's anything to do. It seems like, okay, you're fucked. That's literally what it is. Excuse my language, but that's what it is. Oh, they're in the backfield as soon as I snap it. That's the play over. I mean, what else would happen? It's going to be an interception. It's inaccurate. For no reason. For no reason. Paul Garrison can't wrap up. He's going to get benched. Alex Soto's coming in because you got to make that throw. You have to. I'm not saying it would have been a first down, solve all our problems, get open, whatever. But, like, we have it open underneath. I think that's open. I feel like that is. He's just playing too far behind. And it's just not even close. Hold on. Was there pressure? Was there at least pressure? I feel like there wasn't. Alex Soto's coming in. That's going to be a big catch by Amari Cooper. Jeff Okuda was just lost on that play. I kind of don't know what happened. Also, yeah, Deshaun Hand needs to make some big plays in this game. He's got a breakout challenge. Nice play by Dorian Tompkins. It's whoever is going to break out. They're not making plays. It was Deshaun Hand when Dorian Tompkins had the breakout challenge. And now, of course, it is Deshaun Hand. It's going to be Dorian Tompkins all over the field, I bet. And that's going to be a touchdown. I'm in man coverage. That's not my responsibility. We get cooked on the goal line. There really isn't any stopping slants. There's no stopping it. Touchdown, Dallas. 14-0. We're going to go to 0-5. Oh, man. We got to... Alex Soto is going to change things for us in the second quarter. Got to have faith. Let's get it going. Rashad Reese. Give me a good juke. We'll take that. Rashad Reese and a little just touch pass. Hey, that's a laser for 13 yards on the outside hash in the scorebook. In the scorebook. In the box score. But, uh, no, of course, it was just a little touch pass there. An inaccurate bullet pass. They're inaccurate throws for no reason. You gotta give me something, game. I'm going deep. We got Chris Godwin. Shield him. On the money, Chris Godwin touchdown. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Alex Soto drops it in the bucket. Hits Chris Godwin in stride. Gotta have faith. We had faith... In God win. Faith in God win. I mean, I saw the corner stumble right out of the block there. Right out of the blocks. And I'll tell you what. He recovered pretty unbelievably. It's Jordan Lewis. Check this out. 
Check this out on the right side. He stumbles and then just runs with Chris Godwin all the way down the field. I get that Chris Godwin has like a step. He should have cooked him. We got the touchdown. I'm not complaining. We brought it back. Only down by a TD now. Oh, and down goes Prescott. That was Romeo Aquara who got in there. I don't know how we don't recover that fumble, but they lose 19 either way. Coach Dang has got to be loving that. I mean, Levi on Zarike just dove right on it and couldn't come up with it. Also, having Deshaun Hand as a rush D tackle over Levi on Zarike, I'm thinking that might not be the worst idea. I kind of forgot he wasn't. But I noticed in the second quarter, at the top of the second, so he's going to be in now, which is uh, certainly really good for getting that depth trade up potentially. I mean, we just got brain dead players on the field. That's what it is. I mean, you'd hate to see these guys to just get checked into the hospital for routine checkup. They'd have the plug pulled because there would be no sign of brain activity whatsoever. Literal brain dead players on this field. As Dak Prescott going to air it out deep. Orwarie, please, and it's intercepted. Let's go, Amani. Big play for Orwarie. His second interception in as many weeks. Is that open? Oh my god, Alex Soto. What a throw. I get that it's on the run for no reason. It's just an unreal throw. We're going to call a boot here. Soto. Misses it. Beautiful on the run throw. One play and then completely misses it the next. Second and ten. We get that underneath. Chris Godwin first down. Says inaccurate. Hey, it got there. Okay, that was uh, less than productive. Brings up third and three. How funny is it with our quarterback situation? I mean, it's just... One play, it's one guy. One play, it's the other guy. I never saw him. I literally never saw him. I thought we had a super wide open throw. Jordan Lewis with the interception. Oh, I'm devastated at that. I never saw him. I'm waiting to throw things. Yeah, we maybe had Hawkinson. Right? That was probably the right throw. I just never saw Jordan Lewis. I don't know what to say, but I never saw him. So, I thought we just had a wide open area here. Uh... Yeah, I mean, that's on me. Just didn't see him. You cannot throw right at me like that, dude. I hate this game. Like, how am I supposed to be on a linebacker? How am I supposed to use her anybody? I can cover it perfectly and just allow the catch every time. Well, I didn't cover that one. I was in a hook zone over the middle. I can't run with that. We can still limit Zeke to under 75 yards. It's going to be tough. And down goes Dak. Recover it. Deshaun Hand with the big play. There we go, Deshaun Hand. That's huge. That's huge. If he would have recovered that too, I think he would have gotten superstar dev. I think that would have been it. He just didn't recover the fumble. Actually, that might count as a, a sack and forced fumble. That might be superstar dev. That might be it. They're going to punt. That's a two-minute warning. Rashad Reese, do I even bother taking this out? Yeah, let's do it. That's an insane thing I just did. I got to not do that. I always think I can return it like more than four yards at a clip. Nope. Dude, oh my god. Another interception, and he broke that freaking hit stick. I, I, oh, I, I'm not even going to say anything about that other than like every time I have a primary read on someone, they just get bumped. Like I'm looking at everything. I'm trying to buy some time. We actually get good blocking. And I'm like, that slant's going to get open, right? He gets bumped and slows down. And then he doesn't hit the landmark. He doesn't get to the spot. It's infuriating. Nothing is open. Except for, looks like the slant will be. 
just get bumps and he slows down and it's an interception second pick for alex soto uh, uh, it's just it's making me so mad down goes prescott it's levi on zarike fourth and 12 we're calling a timeout i want the football back 58 seconds two timeouts receivers that in general don't get separation rashad reese does the clock's actually still going to be ticking on that okay we're, i'm not going to get frustrated i'm just going to stay composed make some throws and try to get some points before the half ends two interceptions for soto i'm i'm upset about them those two from soto they're my fault i get it but i think we've been in unfortunate situations what a ball and what a drop fourth and one we didn't get that i'm going for it i know it seems like a a bad time to go for it because if we get or if we don't get this we give dallas the football back i'm confident in converting this outside rashad reese oh rashad reese is still going look at the speed the bold decision play it pays off but guess what we are zero and four you gotta take some chances you gotta take some chances big play from rashad reese after the catch uh can we throw that rashad reese he had position just catch it oh man that's a touchdown that's a touchdown we're gonna try a field goal just get some points before the half i would say this was a successful drive kick up down the middle down by a td it was a frustrating first half i get i'm not good at the game i know i'm not i know i'm not it's got to be frustrating to watch i know i feel your pain but uh that's the way it is Feels open enough. DeAndre Swift. Jalen Smith is just not going to be able to cover him. We should be able to look to abuse that matchup all day. Let's run it to the left side here. We should be able to easily get the first down based on the matchups. And we do. 65, I think it's Tyrell Crosby. Just too slow. But we do get the first down. Rolling out. Somebody get open down the field. Soto sacked. Uh, I used right stick to playmaker, the guy closest to me, and I don't think they sent the actual closest receiver. So that's an area where I think Paul Garrison's probably able to make a big play there. Soto hit the throw. Oh my God. I tried to make the throw not on the run. Just couldn't get the ball out quickly enough, and it's third and 10. Whew. All right, I just need to settle down. Just think about where we're going with the football. Let's do that. All right. Also, there's a safety. I got to realize that. I, it's hard to see. <laughs> He's hard to see in the logo. We're going to throw that. Hawkinson, that's got to be a first. Thank you so much for catching that. Is it a bad idea to run on second and 10? I mean, it is. It's an RPO, so I guess it's like not totally... Illegal man downfield. I didn't feel like the run was open. And obviously the throw is not. So that sucks. Second and 15. I hate RPOs in the game, by the way. I don't know why I bother calling those. Second and 15. Just quick throw to Godwin. Wish he would have caught that. Also, I tried to low pass it. It was a high pass. I guess LB is not low pass. Learn something new every day. Or LB. L1. I'm on PlayStation. Okay. And we're going to sack fumble. Soto's out. I mean, we were in a tough spot there in third and 15. I think they probably rushed four and got pressure immediately anyway. Sewell crushed. Taylor Decker crushed. What do you want me to do when my offensive line like doesn't even come to play? Nothing's open down the field. <laughs> I just don't have a chance, but... Zach fumble. I'm noticing the mobility in the pocket now. Paul Garrison's back in. Dak lobbing it up. Or a warrior. Interception number two. Amani takes it right back. Let's go. 
How nice would it be for receivers to get separation? I feel like that's open. It's definitely... It. I thought it was. Paul Garrison has two picks. Oh, geez. That's why I took him out. Okay. <laughs> I've thrown four interceptions this game. How do I expect to win ever? How do I ever expect to win a game? Third and eight. I bet you I don't convert. Godwin. That's the only way I'll do it. If Chris Godwin is just better. Eleven rushes for 32 yards. I mean, should we really just keep pounding the rock for three yards a carry? Not even. That's not good. It's open. Chris Godwin. It's tough to see. I don't know why I'm struggling to see so much. Wide open. Garrison hits Hawk on the run. Lower the shoulder. Okay. Big catch. It's open. Stay in bounds, please. Rashad Reese. Wish you were just a little bit faster. Kelvin Joseph saves first down. Barely. I'm gonna run here on second and inches. There we go. Good block. Frank Rag now. I love it. First and goal. Rashad Reese, quick throw. That's a touchdown. Rashad Reese has had a few touchdowns this year by just doing that. All right. 17 17, penning the extra point. There's a little bit of wind going on. So if we need to make a game winning extra point or even game winning field goal, which would be a little bit more difficult, I would be a little bit worried about it. But it's 17 17. We've had some big turnovers, but we're still in the game somehow. So we have to take advantage. It's a run. Oh, nice play. Not going to count as a TFL for Deshaun Hand, but it is a heck of a play. Down goes Dak. It's Deshaun Hand. That's got to be superstar development for sure. Sick play. Third and four. This is a big third down. Bringing it close to the end of the third quarter. It's a screen. Zorro, big tackle. Tell me he's short. Fourth and inches. I would go for this 100% if I'm Dallas, by the way. Like, without question. I feel like you have to. And they're not going to. Imagine punting on fourth and inches from midfield. I get that they don't think our offense is anything, which that's true. Wow, sick punt, dude. You punted it to the 41. That's the worst shit I've ever seen. Go Swifty. Give me a block. Okay, we'll take that. Home team has trouble with coverage. About freaking time, dude. They've been locked down the entire game. Still probably a bad idea to throw, but I'm going to see what that's about. Yeah, they had some trouble. DeAndre Swift is wide open. It's a really sick spin move, DeAndre. Yeah, keep doing that one. Super open. They, they're, not, they're not accounting for DeAndre Swift. They're making mistakes. It's open. Tyrell Williams. Oh, big stiff arm, and then he recovers instantly. Is that how that's supposed to work? Huh. You better give me some blocks here, O-line. Third and two. I need the first. Swift is stopped. Fourth and one. I know you want me to take the field goal. I know you do. Can't do it. One of these slants is getting open. It's TJ Hawkinson. First down. As long as we didn't have a BS inaccurate throw, we were moving the chains there. Another run. Ragnow, DeAndre Swift, touchdown. Great block by Frank Ragnow. We love this. Away team has a greatly reduced fumble chance. Okay, that's useful, I guess. What a block by Frank Ragnow and Jalen Smith. Sets up the touchdown. Great run. We take the lead. We have the lead in the fourth quarter. And I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about it. Dak facing pressure. Down he goes. It's Dorian Tompkins. The rookie out of Ohio State was screaming at him. Five sacks? I'll take it. I mean, it's amazing how he either has all the time in the world to throw or is getting sacked. CD Lamb's injured. 
Good. Take that lamb out to the slaughterhouse. <laughs> I mean, hey, I, I would never wish injury on CeeDee Lamb in real life. I'm a big Giants fan. I'm a big Texas Longhorns fan. CeeDee Lamb has played for Oklahoma and the Cowboys. That cannot be a completion. Oh, my God. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, video game CD Lamb, fuck him. CD Lamb in real life, stay healthy. We want everyone to stay healthy. Uh, this play is unbelievable because I'm running with it, and we he throws right at me, and I can't get on that. And then I hit stick. We don't tackle. Davidson dies by himself. I hit stick again. and It's an arm tackle, and that takes off another defender. And then I switch on... I hit stick again, and I, that one's a whiff. But I didn't whiff three times. I cannot believe he threw it right at me and I didn't intercept it. That's so stupid. No one's outside. Ife Melifanwu, great tackle. Russ Clemens is down. No, get up, Russ. He's holding his shoulder. Could that be a torn labrum? I fucking hope not. Because we have no depth. Because now that Derek Barnes is going to be playing edge, Jelani Tavai, you stopped him. You stopped him in the gap. Jelani Tavai, what a tackle. Of course they have to go for it. Mm, I worry about this being a run and not being able to stop it. It's a pass. Quick throw. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> Dislocated shoulder. Russ Clemens is out. Second time, by the way, he's been injured and had to leave the game this season. Hopefully that's not a trend. Okay, I mean, I can't really leave the middle of the field to cover that. That was just going to be open. You figured that having a flat there would take care of that? Uh-uh. Nope. Second and goal. It's a run. Great tackle. Deshaun Hand deserves superstar dev. He's done everything and more. Couple sacks, force fumble, tackle for loss. I mean, have a day. I'm playing hard flats. Third and goal. Run if you dare. Dak gonna run. Dak gonna run. Throw it away. The fact that he didn't get sacked is crazy. Use your pick! You suck! Why are you taking it out? I. Why are you taking it out? Use your pick. Easy reads. Green eggs and ham. It feels good to be back. The fact that by himself, when I hold down, he takes this out of the end zone makes me want to scream. Makes me want to scream. Because I did not want to take this out of the end zone even for a second. This is going to end up being really bad. This could be worse. Because it could be a safety. Oh, Jesus. Dude, the CPU just takes over. It's magnetized. Do you think I wanted to run right at the freaking blitzing corner there? No, I did not. <laughs> Holy hell. Second and six. I mean, we're going to be lucky if we can get a first down on this. Third and four. We're passing because why? We are passing because I think it's the most effective way to move the ball here. Sick catch, Chris Godwin. I'm glad I'm paying you $15 million a year to suck ass. Dak is all day. Super out of bounds. Sick illegal touching, C.D. Lamb. Where's Dak going to go? He has way too much time. He's going to run. <laughs> okay. Man coverage is, I mean, I guess it's asking to allow points. I don't know why we're in three deep. The CPU is like, what about three deep? Uh, you know how it is. It's not good. We just got to keep him out of the end zone. Dax throwing three picks. Get me out of prevent. I'm tempted to call a timeout here. Let's get personnel. And I left it open. I left it open. It's on me. It's on me. I got flustered. Oh, I got flustered. I'm just running around like a freaking idiot here. 
I mean, I, I saw 89 getting super open, and by the time I realized that classic CD lamb getting open over the middle, you can tell. Change of direction, not good enough, too late. Balls out, touchdown. We're going to need so much time for this Rashad Reese route to develop. I mean, it's insane. And we're not going to get it. I just got to... I threw it inside and it's picked. Oh my God, dude. The pressure is relentless. Another one of these situations where... Uh, I, I see pressure. I know I'm going to get sacked. And instead of wanting to get sacked, I just throw the ball. And yeah... That would have been super open. Would not have had the time to throw it. You know how I know? That's how. I get that it's not good to throw that. I get that it is. I panic under pressure and we're going to lose the game. Oh, this is unreal. It's unbelievable what just happened. Need to call our timeouts now. Fourth and nine. We really need a block here. We did not get it. We have 15 seconds and no timeouts to get a field goal somehow. We need a huge return. We need a huge return. Oh, we had a hole. We had a hole. Oh, my God. Good throw. Good throw. Tyrell Williams. We're in a field goal range. We're in a field goal range. Sick throw by Paul Garrison. We're going to get iced. It's a 50-yarder. With the wind going eight miles per hour to the right, I gotta get the, uh, I gotta get the meter a little bit over to the left. Is that too much? I have no idea. Power. Kick is up. Kick is wide right. I understand that icing the kick should be hard. I get that, like, a little bit harder than normal. The fact that I have to guess where the... If you take a fucking selfie after the game, whatever that was, dude. Oh, man. I get that icing the kick should be hard. The fact that it is complete guesswork about where it's fucking going is ridiculous. Okay. I need to calm down. <laughs> The fact that I can't see where it's going, dude, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. I made too many mistakes. I didn't deserve to win, but... How many interceptions did I throw? Five? Yeah. Dak threw three. My offensive line sucks. They don't fucking block. I'm swearing in this episode more than I have in every other episode combined. But Jesus Christ, dude. Rashad Reese with a touchdown. Chris Godwin with a touchdown. And a couple major drops. Same thing for Reese. Catch the ball. How about that? Two sacks for Deshaun Hand. He is superstar dev. It's good for the rebuild. Two picks for Oro Warrior. Sick. Forced fumble for Hand. No recoveries, of course. No touchdown. I'm just... I'm so... I'm... Uh, I'm so... I don't even, there's no word for what I feel right now, dude. <laughs> there's not. It's like angry, yet dejected, defeated, and demoralized all into one, and annoyed more than anything else. This sucks. I'm 0-5. I get it. I'm not reading the comments this season. It's just not fucking happening. <laughs> I can't. Upgrade for Panay Sewell. Yeah, he could use one. He sucks. He got destroyed by uh, Demarcus Lawrence for a full game. <sighs> Derek Barnes goes up to a 67 overall. I don't think I throw so many interceptions if my offensive line is worth anything. Deshaun Hand's going to be a superstar, though. Yeah, he's a beast. Deshaun Hand's a, a certified beast. Deshaun Hand's really good. Plus 8,000 XP for him. Yeah, dude, it's just like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Deshaun Hand with Superstar Dev is pretty sick, though. We got to take some positives out of this. I know this rebuild wasn't going to take one season, but starting out 0-5 is clearly not where I envisioned this team. 
Uh, I'm not going to change the sliders because we're getting close competitive games. I just have to uh, try and find a way to chill on the interceptions a little bit. <laughs> That's what it's going to come down to. I feel like we have players on our team that are playing individually well as Russ Clemens is close to having his dev trait revealed. Derek Davidson, a game away. A game away from knowing what is under that blue hidden dev trait. Probably the same for Russ Clemens, maybe two. I think he was set back a bit with the injury. And for the offensive guys, I don't know what you can say about it. Like, I still don't know who the guy is. Both players have played well and both players have played badly. You know why that is? Because I'm controlling them. And I have my moments and I have my terrible moments. And I think a lot of the time I have more terrible moments than good in the moments. It's just how it is. We'll, can, uh, we'll continue with this episode. We'll include the bye week, the prospects uh, spotlight. Tyro Williams was like, any plans for this week? We got to prep for the game, dude. We got to prep for the game. We are 0-5. There's no off days. Minus one morale, plus 600 XP. Play better. How about that? Prospect scout light. Scout, scout light. I need to go to sleep. Prospect spotlight. Prospect spotlight. I don't even know who it is. Well, yeah, let me take it the reports. I cannot speak. Timmy Becton. D tackle. Let's check him out. Let's see what he's all about. I'm about to freak out. Is that is that obvious to anyone? Let me scout a D tackle where we're stacked at the position. Let me check out a third round D tackle at a Boise State. Oh, he's only a late second rounder. He's actually better than I thought. Dude, he could team up with Russ Clemens. Played on the same D line. How sick would that be? So sick, dude. So sick. Still gonna look at safeties, because even though I think we really hit a home run. Ooh. Richard Russell, not bad for the second. Even though I think we hit a home run with Derek Davidson, we need help at the other safety spots as well. And I say spots, I pluralize that because we've had to play Derek Davidson in a linebacker role because of injuries. The guys are going to be healthy for week seven, though. Justin Fields and the Bears, man, I can't wait to get smacked. So the Bears are four and two, and the Packers are four and two. The Vikings are 3-3, three and, three and we are 0-5. It's been rough. It's been rough. The season is not over. We have XP for some guys, and that's where we're going to end this thing. It's got to be pass protector for Taylor Decker. you got to be better. Plus two pass block. That's big. Into the 80s now. Deshaun Hand. He's been playing well. It's, it's tough to ask him to play better. Because he's played so well. Power moves into the 80s now for Deshaun Hand. Levi Anzarike. It's got to be some type of rush moves. It's going to be finesse moves for him. He is a pass rusher. That's why we have him. He's up to a 72. Plus two finesse moves. We love that. To a 76. And then Alex Anzalone will be the last one. He should be back and healthy. Field General works for him. 72. We just get play wreck. So that's where I'm going to call it. I'm as frustrated as you guys are, if not more. Probably even more. Probably more. 0-5. We are not out of the playoff hunt yet. We are not out of the playoff hunt yet. I know that seems crazy. It is a 17-game season. So even though we're starting 0-5, we are a stretch of wins away over the Bears, Vikings, Patriots, Jets, from being right back in the race for the division. But those are two huge divisional games coming up in Week 7 Week 8. The Jets should be a win. The Patriots, who knows? But, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. This is really a rebuild. <laughs> Take it easy. Taking it back to the house, defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud.